Mouse pads! Or mats. Whatever. The Corsair MM600 is hard. Mm. Released in January of 2013, the mat had a slightly different style that more closely resembled the other Corsair items of the era. It featured the classic Corsair logo on a honeycomb backdrop sprinkled with red accents. Fast forward to September of 2015 and the mouse mat received a facelift using the updated Corsair sails and yellow accents, and it's the design still in use at this current time. When the mat first arrived in the mail, I began to see exactly where Corsair wants to position itself in the peripheral world, and it starts with the packaging. Nice, durable, the crystal clear plastic caressed the package, shielding it from moisture. Clean modern lines adorn the black matte finish of the package, with straightforward accents and a chrome Corsair badge to top it off with plenty of product details on the back and texture samples on the front. MM600. 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 The name, forgettable. You know who else uses arbitrary letters and numbers for the names of their products? Luxury cars. BMW 325i, Mercedes C300, Lexus ES350, and on and on and on. Like those of the automotive world, it seems Corsair wants to be the luxury peripheral maker. The one that offers you products with clean lines, sophisticated looks, supposedly modern thinking, and high-grade materials. But lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of buzzwords. We'll get to those in a minute. Once you get the actual mouse mat out of the nice packaging, there are a few things that are clear about this mat. The thing weighs a ton. Well, not really. It has enough weight on it to feel very sturdy, but not so much that it's overbearing. It's well built. The textured surface on both the coarse and smooth sides of the mat are very uniform, something that you want in a mat for tracking accuracy. Honestly though, there's nothing fancy going on here. It's rather simple, but it sure feels fancy. But why? Details. When it comes down to it, this thing is just a slab of aluminum with four pieces of rubber on the corners. But it feels like more. Looks like more. The aluminum core shows through the sides and serves as an accent piece. The surface is a brushed texture that gives it enough sheen to stand out without reflecting so much that it looks like a disco ball. The texture. That's what makes it feel this way. Both sides of the mat, the aluminum accents, and even the rubber feet all have just enough texture to be noticed at close distance, but at a far distance, it seems, it just seems clean. But if you want to make something to feel fancy, you have to make the tolerances very tight and extremely uniform. And that's what Corsair has done. The surfaces, they're very uniform. The fit, the finish, it's all high quality. The surface of the mat seems to be quite sturdy and able to take lots of abuse for several years. Size-wise, the mat is about twice the size of those cheap, flimsy mats, and is even bigger than my old mat, the Razer Vespula. Comparing the two mats, the Vespula fits comfortably inside of the 600's footprint. If you're worried about this mouse mat sliding around the table, don't be. One corner of the 600 has nearly as much real estate as all four corners of the Vespula combined. Corsair claims that the mat's core is derived from aircraft-grade aluminum. Not sure how the stresses of air travel and airspeed velocity correlate to being fit for having a mouse scraped across it, but w whatever. That's the other thing about feeling fancy. Those buzzwords. Even if this thing was made from just standard plain Jane aluminum, saying that it's just aluminum conjures up bad images of crushed soda cans and flimsy materials. But this is not flimsy by any means. The mat resists flexing extremely well and bending it out of shape would take a lot of force. Compared to Razor's Vespula, the contest isn't even close. The main drawback to any mouse mat is the surface eventually degrades. The 600 surfaces both glide extremely well and don't feel like they will be easily scarred. It's fast, really fast, but everything eventually breaks down, evidenced by my five-year-old Vespula, which has seen better days. The surface of the 600 seems to have held up very nicely after a few weeks of use, and doesn't seem to be as easily scratched on the smooth side as the plasticky Vespula. The biggest selling point for hard surface mouse mats is cleaning them. Quick spray and wipe down is all you need to disinfect them, and if you spill your soda or jumbo sized Doritos bag on the mat, you don't have to worry about getting that crap out somehow. Overall, 
I highly recommend this mouse mat for those in the market for a high quality, solidly put together mouse mat. The Surface has excellent gliding properties for those who are looking for a fast mouse mat. It's a mouse pad for those looking for extremely lightweight and fast mouse movement and something that doesn't scream its presence to you and everyone sitting in the area. It'll last for years and the only downside to this mat is the price point. With an MSRP of $39.99 and online stores selling it for about 30 bucks, this thing is nearly twice the price of any similarly sized cloth mat. But for those looking for the speed and durability of a hard surface, you'll be hard pressed to find something as good as this for the price it's at.